What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Rice where we look at ways that you can live better for less. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Ringo Parking app. Now if you use the Ringo Parking app, you'll know it's pretty good, it makes things pretty convenient, you can pay for parking on the move, on the go, particularly good when you're running late. However, this doesn't come free of course, they, they're a company, they want to be making money, so they charge a service fee. In the UK that is 13p, plus 20% tax comes out at 16p. However, what you might not know is that on top of that, they also enable notifications by default. Now, these are SMS notifications, so they come through as text messages on your phone, and your service provider are gonna charge you for those. Not only that, but Ringo will add these to your bill and add tax on top. So for example, if I look at my receipt here, you can see that I paid five pound in total for parking, 16p for the convenience fee, and then you've got an additional 20p on top for two text messages. Now these are the confirmation messages and your expiry messages and things like that. So obviously guys, if you don't use these services or you know when you're gonna be coming back to the parking and you can keep track of everything, you don't need this extra charge on top. So what you want to do is straight away go into the settings and disable them. And to do that, all you need to do is open up the Ringo app on your phone or your mobile device, click on account, go to notifications and as you can see there guys you've got sms fees fees vary by operator so depending on what mobile network you're with the fees are going to vary but either way you are going to be charged um, and you can see them here there's three different fees the first one a booking sms an sms confirming that your parking session has started you've just parked your car i'm pretty sure you know it started you don't need that turn it off number two expiry reminder sms no need to watch the clock get an SMS reminder 10 minutes before your session expires. This one, if you're busy or at an event or something like that, you might want on. Obviously, that's entirely up to you. Personally, I turn that off. And number three, a stop parking SMS. An SMS confirmation that your session has stopped. Now, if you've got the expiry on, you know it's stopped. You don't need this. Again, turn it off, guys. This is going to save you money. So if we take my bill, for example, it was £5 to park. They charged me an extra 16p for the convenience fee, that's fine, I don't mind that. But then if I have all three notifications enabled, that's 10p per text, that's an additional 30p on top that they've enabled by default. Now that might not sound like a lot, but that is 46p added to every parking ticket. And if you're parking for work on a daily basis, that's really gonna add up. So if we put that into a percentage, guys, again, taking my bill into uh, consideration here, the five pound parking with 46p on top, that's a 9.2% increase in payment just to park. So guys, like I say, those notifications are turned on by default. So make sure you have a look at your account, decide if you want them on. Maybe do, maybe don't. You can easily turn them on and off as well. So if, you, if you're going away, if you're on holiday, if you're going somewhere um, away from home that you might want to put them on, by all means put them on. But obviously, bear in mind, you're going to be charged for that. So if that's helped you out and you want to find more tips, tricks and money saving ideas, obviously subscribe to the channel here, leave a like, leave a comment and you can also follow us on TikTok um, where there'll be shorter versions of these and little tips and tricks that pop up every now and then. So thanks so much for watching guys and until next time, live better.